Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my channel here on YouTube and uh, for um, supporting uh, me by liking my videos and um, by tuning in. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, I just wanted to check in this morning. I'm in downtown Anchorage waiting for Costco to open, doing these human things and... Um, dealing with allergies and all kinds of stuff going on, family, uh, stepkids and bills, lots of different earthly responsibilities. But, um, just wanted to give you some tips this morning for coping with anxiety, um, in our day to day, uh, life operations on planet earth. So, one thing that um, happens is that uh, we can get overwhelmed by the amount of tasks that we have on our to-do list, so to speak. I experience this myself, especially with um, my work and trying to manage the household and keep everything, you know, at a level of working order that is clean and healthy and uh, positive um, with food and cleanliness of the house and then look at, looking at the bigger picture like my goals uh, for my work and um, I <clears throat> can get really overwhelmed by all of it. So what I do when I'm feeling that way is I make a list and then I start to go through the list and check things off. So like today, um, I tackled like all the phone calls and, uh, yesterday I did some more, the more hands-on stuff and, um, you know, new things come up every single day. So we have to be ready for that too, like putting out the fires as they come up. Um, but we can, manage a lot more, uh, without getting depressed and anxious and shutting down. Cause that is not helpful, of course. Um, but balancing the ability to understand our personal needs, like resting when we're tired, eating when we're hungry, drinking when we're thirsty, a lot of stuff, um, just checking in with the body and the mind and the heart to see where we're at. Um, is invaluable. It has to be done. And if you're not giving to yourself, then you can get really drained. And that's when things start to shut down and uh, little weaknesses um, turn into bigger problems with our health and physical health, mental health, emotional health. Um, so yeah, just uh, being present with a list and um, realizing that what we're afraid of is oftentimes the fast track to making progress uh, in a direction that we want to go. So I encourage you to uh, break things down, check in with your body, mind, heart, soul, um, see what you need um, in moments of anxiety, um, giving to yourself. Um, and a lot of this stuff I learned from other people, from my own anxiety and difficulties that come up every day. So um, I'm not claiming to have invented any of this. It's just ways to cope for busy people that care and that are sensitive. That's the other thing. Um, sensitive people um, can feel really drained from things like grocery shopping and being under fluorescent lights and being exposed to like, you know, chemicals or certain smells or fumes, um, molds. There's all these different stressors coming in towards us. So taking the time to check in, take inventory, um, you know, try to get away from things that are, are weakening us or, you know, uh, pinpointing weaknesses. Because if we don't check in and take care of ourselves and um, eliminate the stresses by breaking down our tasks and uh, making progress, because stagnation and shutting down, that causes more stress. So it can get you deeper into the hole. So um, if we don't take care of these things as they come up, and put out the fires, that's when we can get really sick. Um, it is my understanding that 
deep illness is a weakness in our system overall where there has been pressure applied to the point where that weak area has broken and that's just the gateway so once the weak point has essentially broken down and if we continue to not take care of things at that point um, the illness can become chronic it can become life-threatening it can become systemic and that's not good for anyone so um quality of life is so important it's everything for us and for our families it's self-reliance really um it's the ability to take care of ourselves without having to rely on things like as heavily like the healthcare system like the government like corporations big pharma being healthy is resistance and physically healthy, mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, spiritually healthy, um, unafraid and self-empowered. That's how you get away from the victim mentality. That's how you get away from shutting down and you don't have to rely on external forces for your power. You know, at that point that the power comes from within that no matter what life throws at you, you are going to be okay. You're not afraid. And you are empowering yourself. So, you know, focusing on what you need to do for yourself is really important. And nipping things in the bud where you see these weaknesses and and where you're struggling, like say you're still smoking or you're still overeating or you're still gossiping things that are making you feel sick look at that and and work on that you know put it on your list and and realize that the suffering that you will go through in the moment to overcome what your struggle is is so valuable and the blessings that the universe will bestow on you for your commitment to change and to empower yourself, to get out of the victim mentality, to get out of uh, the fear and the stagnation will be infinite. Um, so it is my understanding that now or later, these lessons will be learned and the sooner you do it, the sooner you are self-empowered, the sooner you are healthy, the sooner you are healthy, and that ripples out into your family, your partnerships, your community, Mother Nature, and the whole entire universe. So um, I commend you all for, for even thinking about it and uh, empower yourself. Don't be afraid. You got this. I'm here for you and I love you. Have a wonderful day.